Hi guys, School here, and welcome to a playthrough of Big Ambitions. This is a, well, a business tycoon game, I guess is the best way of describing it, currently in early access on Steam. I thought we'd have a playthrough, give it a bash, see what we can do. The first thing is, we need to design what our CEO looks like and what their name is. So, uh, let's have a look at quick thing. It's a bit limited at the moment in terms of character design, it's nothing like The Sims, but, you know, it's good enough. We can design, well, let's see, skin colour... Weird pink, brown, very dark brown. Male, female. Let me go in, zoom in on the head. We can choose the uh, two styles of face. I think that looks more sinister. Definitely a CEO look. And then what have we got? Haircuts. That style, that style, that style, or completely bald. I think we'll go with that. Something like a black. Gotta go black. CEO hair. Let me go to the clothing. And uh, let's see. What do you want? T shirt, suit. Ooh very apple should we go with an apple look oh yeah red shirt there we go trousers relaxed look a bit hipster athletic do you want an athletic look we can choose the body size by the way we can make them a little bit thinner or a lot fatter i think that's probably the look isn't it the greedy the greedy ceo uh not very muscular doesn't work out too much and then of course to complete the look oh, the, mm, i'm torn i'm torn guys i'm thinking I think in shiny shoes. <laughs> Just the most ridiculous look. Now, this guy's going to be super dodgy, of course. Uh, so what do we call him? Let's call him uh, Tony. He looks like a Tony. We're going to sell dodgy stuff. I'm kind of thinking we're going to build our empire on booze, cigars, jewelry, gifts, you know. We could try the whole takeaway thing. They've not added... Oh, they have added office stuff. We could run an office. That could be dodgy. They're going to add hairdressers and nightclubs soon. I do know that. But for now, we, we, you'll definitely need to run a nightclub at some point, but not now. He's going to start his business empire maybe on jewellery and gifts. We'll see what's in demand. Uh, Tony Phony. Sounds good. Tony Phony, let's do this. We're going to be given $25,000. We're playing in sandbox mode, so I've set it at $25,000. Everything else is pretty much uh, the default. And here we are. We're going to learn the game as we go along. Have a quick look at the map so I can explain what's going on. So you're thrown into this map. There are four kind of districts. Uh, there's the Garment District, which is this one here. A sort of Hell's Kitchen, uh, a Midtown, and Murray Hill. And if you want to know what the differences are between uh, the four districts, we can go to our phone and make a look at mar Market Insider. So the Garment District is primarily working class people. Uh, some middle class, a little bit of upper. Hell's Kitchen is mostly middle class. Murray is a mix of working and upper, and then Midtown is almost exclusively upper class. So each sort of district has its own needs and demands, and there'll be businesses come and go run by the AI. I think they're planning on future co-op, uh, online co-op as well, so you'll be able to jump in with your friends, I think. Maybe compete, I don't know. Hell's Kitchen would love cheap jewellery and cigars. That might be a good place if we can get into Hell's Kitchen, middle class. Whether we can live in that district remains to be seen, but I think we should take a punt lot. Cheap jewellery and cigars, that's got to be a good combo. Throw in some wine. Wine, cigars and cheap jewellery in Hell's Kitchen. I think that's going to be the best. Uh, Hell's Kitchen is this district. So we're going to need somewhere to live. So we need to look for some residents to, to rent. We could rent out this one here. We'll click on Open Business. $80. Quite expensive. If you compare that with something down here, $38. What we could do is perhaps live down here and try and get an office up here. So if we look for some retail, there's not much available retail-wise. There's only one of them. Uh, if we open that one up, 15 footfall. It's a maximum of 15 customers that we can get. Uh, that's how much traffic goes past the shop. That's how much we can get per hour, I think it is, of sales. 15 customers an hour is the maximum you'll ever get, no matter what you do at this place. But it's a pretty good start. It's a small little shop. And let's have a look. It's quite cheap. I think that's a good place to start. Let's uh, let's rent that. We're going to start our business. And we're going to start off by selling, uh, let's see, a coffee shop, jewelry store. We could go for wine and cigars, maybe. Or we go for the jewelry store option. Oh, I'm torn. Cheap jewelry, bottles of wine and cigars. I think we open it as a liquor store. And then we throw in some cheap jewelry that they can buy. It's not the most efficient, but it's certainly the most fun. So we're going to go with uh, let's go with something like um, uh, booze and smoke. How's that sound? 
start a new business called Booze and Smokes. We'll get some wine and cigars in there, throw in some cheap jewellery when we can. Uh, cool. Right, now let's quickly get somewhere to, to live. Uh, we looked at that down here, didn't we? Uh, something down this neck of the woods. Nice and cheap. That one will do, I think. $38. Rented. Cool. Right. So, that was a very quick whistle-stop tour. We're now here. We've rented a shop over the road. We're going to have a look at that. And we're living down here. Let's get going. Right, so we'll quickly run over the road. And this is our store. There you go. It's completely empty. It has a little storeroom at the back. It has some toilets which don't really get used, and that's the entire shop. We'll have to decorate it as best we can. There's a few things we need to worry about. First and foremost, I don't want to be running around everywhere, so I want to get myself a car. So we're going to have to look for, I think it's called car dealership. There's one right down here. There's a truck one here, by the way. This one's a car dealership. We're going to have to run all the way down the road and rent ourselves a car so we don't have to run around everywhere. I totally ignore traffic signs, by the way. We're going to have to get used to that. I'm an absolute villain, see what I mean? I d it's a CEO! He's important! He can do what he likes! Let's get a car. Let me just explain a couple of things here. Top left is our energy bar. For some reason, we've started the day with no energy, which is a bit dumb of the game. That's our food bar, completely full. That's our happiness bar, currently completely full. We'll, do, we'll deal with that later. We can jump inside the car shop, and you'll see we have the Vord Tiara Vic which is 11 grand. That's way too much for us. We have the Vord V150, definitely not a Ford F150. That's 44 grand. Remember, we've only got 22,000 now. We've just rented a bunch of places. Two and a half grand for a Honza Mimic. And then finally, we have 22 grand for a Missam Villain. Love it. So what we'll do, we'll get a Honza Mimic. It's only two and a half grand. And it will get us around. I think we should go the same color as our top. A nice little... Fetching shade, shade of red. So if we go outside, we'll be able to get in that. We've got some buying to do. I wish I had more energy. Okay, it's Monday, day one, 10 a.m. Right now, we've got 20 grand left, and we're burning cash. We're burning cash daily in rent. That is Ikea. We're going to be going there later. Not today, probably. Let me get rid of that waypoint. Uh, we need to go to an appliance store. There's a couple of appliance stores. I think around here, this one is one of them. There we go. Going to go in here. Right. Park vehicle. We are going to go into this appliance store here. Because we're going to sell wine and cigars, we're going to grab a trolley. This can carry four items. And we will need a cigar shelf. Just one of those. And that's the jewellery showcase. We're not doing jewellery initially. We're going to need a shopping basket for the punters so they can pick stuff up. The other thing we need is a wine shelf, and we will definitely need somewhere to put our stock, so we're going to need a storage shelf. That's maxed out the storage. We've got four items on the trolley. We can carry eight in the car, so we go and click on that. Click on purchase. Wait till she checks out. Money will get deducted. There we go. You can see the money's rapidly going down. We're not making anything yet. Why did I leave the car? Oh, it's here. Uh, manage storage. Right, we'll click them, put them in there. What else are we going to need? We're going to need to get ourselves a bed, that's for sure. Here's a little tip. Park that there. Get inside your vehicle, and uh, it guarantees you can pull out your spot. Beautiful. I told you, it's a CEO. It's important. We're definitely going to need a bed. We need to get there before IKEA closes. So we're going to quickly go and get that. Uh, vehicle state is shown here, currently 100%, 97% fuel. This is IKEA. Uh, all damage, you'll have to repair, it's going to cost you money. You have to fuel the vehicle occasionally. I'm sure you get the idea. Right, park there. Jump into IKEA. Genuinely, this is literally, <laughs> literally IKEA. <laughs> Look at this. I'm sure they sell meatballs and stuff. Let's grab a flatbed, carrying capacity of 8. Got to keep an eye on our overhead, so we're going to go for... God, just like Ikea, it roots you all around the place. Uh, we don't need a table and chairs yet. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, bedroom section is here. Let's grab ourselves a standard bed. We'll get a wardrobe so we can change outfit if we want to. Uh, we could get a computer to game on. That'll keep him happy, but I think for now we'll just grab a TV if we can find one. There's one. 
uh, TV will be good. Now, we could get some speakers to play music in the shop, but it's an overhead we don't need right now. Uh, punters are happy when we've decorated, and there's some nice music playing, even when they're ordering cigars and wine. There you go. Let's grab these things, chuck them in the car, and head back. Okay, drop them in the car. Car is almost completely full. Half past one in the afternoon, we're completely tired, but we can make a drop up at the, uh, up at our, if we click on this and click maps, we can basically see where our store is there. We can even set destination, kind of makes it easier when you're, you're learning the town, trying to navigate where you are. After a while, you start to get used to it. This reminds people of GTA 2 and its style. It's set in New York. Um, They've got plans for, I think, a London map and a Paris map is what they have on the roadmap. But, you know, currently they're on version 0.2 uh, early access, which is pretty good for 0.2, I have to say. 0.3 comes out in, well, currently 38 days from recording. End of August, I think it is. Like I said, they've got a nightclub in there, all kinds of stuff. Now, you can only pick up one item at a time, um, but what you can do is if you go into... Pretty much every shop will have one of those little hand trolley things. And this is no exception. There should be one there. Right click on it, pick it up, and put it in the corner there is my advice. Because, trust me, the uh, the punters are not affected by that placement. But you will be every time you want to grab one. So go over here. We're going to grab the shopping baskets, the uh, storage shelf, the wine shelf, and the cigar shelf. This is just the absolute minimum to get the shop going. So we'll put the storage shelf, we'll place that at the back of the shop here. Press R to rotate, uh, we'll stick that there. Then we'll put um, the shopping baskets, we'll place that over here. So they'll walk in, they'll grab a shopping basket, and then they'll pick things as you lay them out. So if you put that there, say, and then we put that here. And then what we need is a cashier's desk. So we need to get a cashier's desk and a till. Bearing in mind our energy is almost on zero. Can we get a, is there a coffee bar around? It might boost our energy a little bit. Uh, car dealership, turn that off. I'm sure there's a filter. We'll just see if we can see one. Uh, what I want to do is before that appliance place closes, which will do, we've got to go to the other appliance place, which I think is just around the corner from us. Yes, it is. So we don't need to do the car thing. We'll just run around the corner. So we're basically where our shop is. It's just around the corner from one of the appliance stores. This one sells different things. And there it is. There's kebabs, kebabs there. Uh, same thing. Grab a trolley. This one will sell you a cabinet, which you need to put the cash register on. And then we're also going to need a fridge, which is that thing there. There's also like drinks counters and wooden displays for other things. Depending on what you're selling, you're going to need different things. That's the general gist of the game. For example, there's like a salad bar. So if you're doing frozen foods or fresh foods or whatever, depends what you're into. There's two main appliance stores, and they'll sell the different bits you need. Uh, let's run around the corner. My guy's going to collapse soon, I think. Okay, so now we're going to put the cabinet with drawers. We'll place that back here. We want it facing in for where our employee will stand. Initially, we're going to have to man our own tills. Initially. Um, paper bag is what it, it needs. Paper bags. I didn't buy anything yet, but we need to get paper bags. That, we'll grab that. This bed is going in our apartment, and our apartment is down the road. So we'll just put our thing in there. Right, get inside. We're going to go down to our apartment, which is just down here. And then we're going to have to sleep, basically. Right, manage storage. We're going to grab the bed. Yes, you can put a bed in a small box and carry it into your apartment, up however many flights of stairs, no problemo. Uh, we're going to put the bed in here, I think. Uh, we'll stick it there against the wall, it'll be fine. Um, now, I think we should have a, just a little quick sleep. Although, having said that, the shop's about to close, and we could really do with grabbing some food. 
We need to grab some fresh fruit for the fridge. Here we go. So we'll grab a shopping basket. And we'll look for fresh food. We'll load up our shopping basket. I think 10's the most you can get. I'm getting this basically before they close. Because we're going to need to eat in the morning. And they only open at like 8am usually. So we grab that. That's good. Oh, my guy's tired. Oh, he's collapsed. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. No! No, no. Oh, dear. I'm being taken to hospital. <laughs> what a great first day that was. Exhaustion. You have no more energy and passed out. Local authorities transported you to hospital to recover. And they kept your bag of fresh food. Lovely. Thank. Thanks for looking after me. It's now Tuesday, 8 a.m. Thanks for the free bed. Um, yeah, see you later. So anyway, well, it's day two. We're now in the hospital. And we've got to get back to our place. Luckily, it looks like we're not too far away. Oh, we're miles away. Dear God, we're miles away. Could you have put us any further away from where we live? Seriously. Set destination. Cool. Right. Unlike GTA, you can't carjack. But what you can do, if you spot a taxi, you can grab a taxi and say, take me here, please. Please take me to travel here for $77. That is so expensive. Right, anyway, so here's our car. So we'll add our item to storage. Now what we'll do is we'll grab our fridge. This is what I wanted. Because once we've got a fridge, there. Once we've got a fridge, we can store it with food. Grab the wardrobe. We'll put that in there. We won't need that just yet, but it's nice to have when we want to change outfit. Which we might do to go to, like, um, a gym. Not that this guy goes to a gym, but, yeah. If we want to change our luck. Uh, this is his TV. TV can go on the wall here. TV's good for making him happy. You can watch that. You get a buff to happiness. Um, I don't know where my food's gone. I don't remember. recall seeing it in here. There it is. Paper bag. Right, the paper bag has 10 fresh food in it. And if you click on the fridge, boom, it puts them inside. So now we can click. You see, we've got 10. We can click that whenever we want to fill our bar. I noticed he's not very happy. So what we can quickly do is watch some TV. Now, you notice it does give it a happiness boost for so many hours. If you watch for two hours, you get 14 hours. If you watch for two and a half, no, three and a half, you get 24 hours. I can't afford that time, so we'll just do that. I just want him to get a bit happy. We'll skip time. We've got things to do. It's Tuesday. We're a CEO. What do we need? We've got our shop set up. We don't have any stock. So, we need to drive off down to the wholesaler. Now, initially, we're going to be buying stuff from the wholesaler um, to sell at a retail shop, and that will give us reasonable profit. Later on, we're going to have to start doing our own distribution, so we'll import stuff from the importers. For that, we'll need a uh, warehouse, and we'll need people to manage the warehouse. We'll need product purchasing managers. You name it. It is actually a lot deeper than it looks, this game. It's a lot of fun. And we'll also have to manage those employees. For now, we'll just go and drive in. Yes, it's a drive in. And we're going to grab some stuff. Remember, the car's got eight slots on it. We're going to need some paper bags. So we'll put one, one lot of paper bags in the back. That's so they can package the goods. And we said we're going to start off with wine and cigars. And then later on, we'll start selling uh, some cheap jewelry if we can. But luckily, wine and cigars, I happen to know that they're over here. So we'll park that. Now, look at the cost of these. We've got $9,000 left. A box of cigars is going to cost us 988 So we'll just go with one for now. And then we'll put one box of wine, two boxes of wine. Uh, how much is that cost? And if I jump in the car, it'll tell us what we owe. $1,500. Um, let's see. Can we afford another one? What else do we need to buy? We'll, we'll get one more cigar. You've got to be careful not to buy too much stock. Paper bags. Da, 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 da. Oh, I forgot to get a cleaning kit. We'll need a cleaning kit from the appliance store. So place our order. That'll deduct our money. We're now down to $6,000. Really need to start selling stuff. Now, ideally we want somebody to operate the till for us, but we can't hire employees until... We've completed the mandatory business school course, which takes eight hours of study, not real time, but eight hours of study in the game. To do that, we go to the Manhattan uh, Business School, I think it's called. 
but we'll have to do that while we're trying to make money because as a CEO at the beginning you got to do everything and that's pretty much the way it is in business now there's the place that I'm going to get myself a trolley that's why I said put it there because it's a lot handier when you do and we'll grab paper bags a bunch of stuff right now if we put stuff into the shelf here it'll auto magically we manage the storage there and we drop these in here things will auto magically appear on the shelves over here once we've set what they are for now we'll just get all the stuff there you go see that so they started to load the shelves and the paper bags have gone into the register okay so that's the wine in there as well so the wine should appear on that shelf cigars are already there paper bags are already in here if we walk out of the walk back in there you go see lovely so the only thing we've got left to do is well we can get a we could open for business probably tomorrow if we want to i think we probably should so what we do we click on the business manager and then this is booze and smokes right so in here this is where we can monitor what our customer capacity is we know that current capacity is limited to 10 per hour don't worry about that yet the building limit is 15 so we cannot ever get more than 15 customers per hour if you want to raise that limit you need a bigger building basically so this is our capacity it's what it's saying is you're throttled you don't have enough cigar or wine shelves to get it up to 15 don't worry about it we can definitely deal with the point of sales so 20 out of 15 means we can hit that 15 limit these two we need another shelf of each basically too but you know it's all money schedule this is where we say how long we want to open and who's going to operate the cash register, who's going to clean, etc. That's us. We're doing everything. Now, what I'd like to do is, what are we on Tuesday? We need to schedule a day for study. That day is going to be Saturday, um, which will get us. If we can do, if we can crack a whole eight hours of business study on Saturday, that will smash us through that course. So we also need to restock things. Now, to restock things, we need a couple of hours in the morning to go and grab some stuff. So I'm thinking we can possibly optimistic to open at 10. Maybe we open at 11 and we finish at 7. That's going to be enough for our guy. He'll be very tired. So in the morning bit, we go to the wholesaler, re replenish any stock, grab anything we need to eat, etc. Work, go home, watch TV, get up, rinse, repeat. When it's Saturday, we go and study. Deliveries, marketing, etc. Don't worry about any of that. What we do need to do is set our logo booze and smokes what color should we go for let's go with our same color as our ceo you can you can define a custom color here if you want by the way you can just add a oh what do you do it there it is plus you can go for something like that it'll add it in all three and then you can just click on it you know whatever you want to do i quite prefer that red, that red there click on save and we're contemporarily close so what we'll do we're not open for business just yet. If I open it now, it'll expect us to be open. Um, what we'll do is we'll call it a day for the shop and we'll head back as we live down the road there, don't we? Get the car. Scumbag Porsche driver. Right, we've got a bit of time to... Uh, we don't need to go to restock things tomorrow. We only have to start work at 11. So I'll go for the 24-hour buff. So what we'll do is skip time. We'll go to sleep. Let's we'll say we'll wake up at like 9.30 to get over to the shop. We'll grab a snack. Make sure your food bar is full up before you go to work, is my advice. It's pretty hard to get a lunch break. Right, you can see Booze and Smokes has closed, opening in one hour. So that's our time that we set. However, we haven't actually said we're open for business. Now we're going to click that. We're now open. If you've got anything that you're missing or you're low on stock, it will tell you here in the business manager, in the insight page. Inventory and pricing, right? So this is where we set prices. Market price dictates $21 is the current market value. You can usually get away with jacking this up a little bit. Um, probably work on 10%, 15% margin you can usually get away with. So let's see if we can go for $14 and put that at, say, 23. We'll watch people come in. If they basically say, I'm not paying that for wine, then we know we're too expensive. We can see our stock level here, and we can see what we've sold in the last seven days here. So we'll see what happens. We'll go and man the till. Shop opens at 11. 
start working and what we'll do is we'll click that and it'll just fast forward time for us and as soon as it hits 11 hopefully people start walking in and buying stuff okay now what you'll see them say they'll comment on the floor and the walls they'll say things like oh it's not very not very uh not very well decorated in here yeah it's not it's so ugly oh i'd like to hear some music you know we can sort that out with speakers the walls and the floors are expensive so we're not going to do that just yet i'm more concerned with the price if they complain about the price being too much that's when we need to do something about it so that's it we're basically running now we're making money it doesn't come in straight away it calculates everything at the end of the day it'll do a sales report tell you what you sold and how much you've got what your profit is so what we'll do is click skip time we've got three hours left in the working day and that's that we're finished so quickly having a look at the stock levels uh, if we go to the business manager we can see that our, we've sold about 20 odd of those we've sold quite a bit of those we've got enough stock for the next day nobody complained about the price we'll see what our sales are right now we need to go to bed and we need to eat okay so maybe a quick bit of tv just to cheer him up before bed snack before bed and then bed i'll we'll wake up about 8 a.m there we go we actually made some money 600 dollars total profit and if you click on business manager and click on that it should say what you actually sold there you go so we sold 23 and then we made a two dollar profit on each we sold 33 of them and we made a two dollar profit on each of those uh, gross profit was 991 um, this is where it shows you what people are thinking the customer service is yeah once you've got staff that are really skilled in customer service that will go up they don't like the interior but it is reasonably clean however we will need to buy a uh, cleaning utensil so that we can actually go around cleaning ourselves but that is it for day one tomorrow we'll start to take things up a little bit we'll start to attend the business school try to ramp up our profits a bit but that's it for the video let me know what you think leave your comments in the comments below take care guys happy simming